Good afternoon. We are so happy you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow for our next video. So I am headed to do some errands before I pick Peter up from work. It is Friday. It is a long weekend. We are going to Magic Kingdom tonight. Um, but first, I'm going to pick up just a couple of sides to go with the sandwiches that I made for us for dinner. We need to go grocery shopping so bad. Um, but I didn't have the time to go today, so I just made PB&Js. And then I'm going to stop at, um, it's the, what is it called? Like the District at the Mills, I think it's what it's called. Um, just for some sides, they have vegan food, but they also just have really good chips. And then I have to pick up Peter's bib and such for his 5K tomorrow. So I'm doing that, going to get gas, and then going to go ahead and pick him up right at 5. So I really wanted to show you guys the case at um at the district at the mills because it usually has so much good stuff in it. But for whatever reason today just there was not a lot at all. And so I just got an antipasto salad and now I'm headed into Track Shack. So this is the race he's doing. It is sold out. His little taste ticket, so I don't know what that means. He must get to snack along the way. Here's the shirt. It's short sleeve, which is nice because Peter doesn't have many of those. Um, yeah, it looks like it's food oriented. If you were in our live stream on, I don't even remember what day that was, um, you would have seen when Peter signed up for it, there were literally eight spots left. So we got in at the very last minute. That is tomorrow morning. So another race weekend already. One hour later. I've been waiting for Peter outside of his work for like 45 minutes. It's 5.35. So I'm a little worried because that means that something not so good must have happened. But... I'll keep you posted. One hour later. You can tell by how dark it is <laughs> that plenty of time has passed. I actually had to leave to go to the bathroom because I just could not wait anymore. Um, Peter says he's packing up his things. But it's 620. Ay, ay, ay. I literally drove Peter today so that we could get to the park early. We'll probably still get there earlier than we would if he went home, but dang. Oh, hello. Guys, it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. No words. I didn't leave the office because of nonsense until, what, it's 6.20? Yeah, it was like right when I finished the last clip. So pretty much three hours after Sarah left <laughs> to come get me, I left the office. It's and so then dark. Traffic was absolute bonkers. It's 6.50, and we're not even parked yet. We're not going to get into the Magic Kingdom until close to 7.30 now. But at least we get to go to the Magic Kingdom. Right, but at least we get to the Magic Kingdom, and it's the weekend. But you have to work. <laughs> I don't know when I'm working, working, though, and hopefully it won't take long, but I do have to do a little bit of work. But we made it. We're together. We're going to go get our magic on. Plot twist. Forgot it was Friday, especially Friday of a holiday weekend. And Sarah goes, Mom, we try to park at the Grand Floridian. I say, Sure. Hard denial there. Hard. We thought, since we're so close to the Poly, maybe we go to the Poly. As we drive past the Poly, the line to try to get in the security is off of like cool. into the street. So I was like, We're not waiting in that just to get denied again. So we came into the TTC parking lot. So we're all finally out of the car. Sarah's been released from a three hour jail. <laughs> it's fine. It's out of your control. There's also an after hours tonight, and I just said, Sarah, should we just go buy after hours for tonight? And I was silent. 
But that's why I thought it was weird that Hepler Raptor was at 8 o'clock and not 9 at park close, but it does make sense. It looks so barren. I know, I love it though. I love when it goes back to like just plain old magical parks. I noticed from the monorail that the, the tree, the castle is not lit up anymore. Look at that. Looks like snow, but it's just little bubbles. Just the bubbles and a beautiful regular old Main Street. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is the, the great everybody stands up and moves forward moment. Make way for pine trees. <laughs> <laughs> We're 10 minutes away. I don't think Sarah and I have watched the fireworks from this spot, which is by far my favorite. About 30 feet in front of Walt and Mickey in literally a, over a year. I think we've only done it a handful of times since we moved here. We would love to sell you right now if we weren't two inches from everybody around us. And when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. Okay, first of all, the best fireworks ever. And two, since when did this become a thing? This has been construction forever. This is the coolest place ever, just to hang out. Those fireworks had me emotional. She was sobbing. <laughs> oh my god, they were so good. We haven't watched them in so long. I think that's what. If we had our popcorn bucket, we could get some popcorn and just chill here and eat. Oh man, it's in the trunk, I think, too. <laughs> what? I'm 95% uh, positive it's in the trunk. So we got three fast passes tonight. We missed two. We gotta go to our last one at Haunted Mansion. <laughs> now I will raise the safety bar. And the ghost will follow you home. All right, we think it's gonna be Small World for our last, our last attraction because there's only 12 minutes left in the day. But Sarah's being hopeful. She's been jonesing for some Seven Dwarfs mine. <laughs> so she's gonna check the line and see if it's worth us hopping in and being those people. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. An hour. An hour? An hour. Peter Pan's only 30. I need your help. I can't decide. All uh, right, it's 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Do we do it? 50 minutes. Well, our quick evening is coming to an end. I did not expect. Oh, I'm it redeemed the night for me, I think. Yes. It, it, re it re reinvigorated my three-day weekend yes. after such a crazy day. Yeah, we have so much to look forward to. Oh, such a beauty. One day we'll be at Cinderella's. We have, we, I want to eat dinner there. 
We've only ever eaten breakfast. Only like one option. I think it's avocado toast for fifty-seven dollars. For dinner? Yeah. Okay, maybe we won't go there right now. But soon when they get more plant-based options. Yeah. Last time I walked through this, I wasn't walking, I was running. There might have been breakfast. I was gonna say avocado toast for dinner sounds weird, but did you know? Did you know? <laughs> Trizella is green with envy. But when I was running through this, there was a Christmas tree at the end of the block. Sneak, sneak Christmas tree. <laughs> this is one of my favorite views in the whole wide world. Just the white lights on Main Street. We should have showed just how busy the monorail was. And the ferry. And the ferry, but we chose to take the bus. No way. Right there in like two minutes. Wow. Wow. Literally five minutes. Sarah timed it. I timed it. So if you ever drive, or even if you're going to the poly and the, the lines are crazy for the other forms of transportation, think about taking the bus over to TTC. I like mentally accepted the fact that like we were, it was going to be forever for us to. Um, to get back. And, and we walked out of it. Peter was just no like, bus. Yeah. So that honestly, game changer. Cause we, any other form would have been 20 minutes before we get back to this spot. I don't really want to go in this. Time. We've been in there before. I don't really want to go in it again. <laughs> oh. So I got this sick shirt. I think Sarah already showed it, but I didn't realize it was actually going to be like actual like running material. Yeah. This is gonna be so much fun in the morning. And the best part about this, did you look at this little logo on the back? Look at the little, little person running with a fork in their hand. No, you get to eat. You can eat, we're gonna share. Oh, I thought it was along the route. No, it's at the end. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like gonna a be a strip of line. <laughs> yeah, so you can like check out the tents while I'm running and I'll meet you at the finish and then you can be like, all right, what'd you pick out? We get <laughs> three tastes, a Krispy Kreme, but we can't eat that. And then we get a coffee by either First Watch, Foxtail, or Hunter Vision. We're going on a Foxtail for sure for the coffee. <laughs> we gotta, that means we gotta get up in like six hours. You've been watching New Girl, message of the day. If you're not obsessed with your life, change it. And with that... Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's, it's Sarah and Peter. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's gonna be a great long weekend. Get ready. I think we're gonna do... Disney World every single day. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>